तो रैनसम वेयर बेसिकली रैनसम वेयर इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ मालवेयर दैट प्रिवेंट्स यूजर्स फ्रॉम एक्सेसिंग देयर सिस्टम्स और पर्सनल फाइल्स एंड डिमांड्स रैनसम पेमेंट इन ऑर्डर टू रीगेन द एक्सेस बेसिकली इट इज रैनसम वेयर मालवेयर इट इज टाइप ऑफ मालवेयर दैट प्रिवेंट्स द एक्सेसिंग ऑफ देयर सिस्टम मींस वन अटैकर gives a virus malware type uh, that is ransom uh, that encrypts our um, system in such a way that the key uh, to open the encryption file or uh, to key to uh, decrypt that um, that uh, uh, um, our uh, computers uh, that are uh, uh, that are have to that are uh, of wrong um, Sorry, uh, I'm representing one more time. One second. It's okay. It's okay. Just go for it. It's okay. One second. Ha. Huh. So good evening. Uh, my topic is ransomware. Ransomware, uh, malware, or ransomware is a type of uh, malware that prevents user from accessing their systems or personal files and demands. ransom payment in order to regain access while some uh, people might think a virus logged my computer ransomware would uh, typically be classified as a different form of malware than a virus the earliest uh, variants of uh, ransomware were developed in the late 1980s and payment Uh, was to be uh, sent via uh, mail today ransomware authors uh, order that uh, a payment be sent via cryptocurrency or credit card and uh, uh, attackers uh, target individuals uh, individual businesses and uh, organization of all kinds some ransomware authors sell the service to other uh, cyber criminals which is uh, Known as uh, RAAS, that is ransomware as a service. So, second slide is ransomware attacks. There are many types of ransomware attacks. Uh, the famous ransomware attacks are mal spam, uh, malvertising, spear phishing, social engineering, crypt, uh, encrypting files, and demand a reason. So, let's discuss about the. Uh, attacks so first attack is uh, mal uh, mal spam uh, basically spam uh, matlab mal spam is uh, to gain access some threat uh, actors use spam uh, where they send an email with an malicious uh, attachment to as uh, many people as possible seeing who uh, opens the attachment and that's uh that takes the uh that and uh, takes the ba- uh, bait so to speak um malicious uh, spam or mal spam is uh, is an email that is used to deliver a malware the email might include uh, tra- um email might include uh, attachments uh, which are matlab like uh, trapped attachments uh such as pdf or word uh, document it might also contain links uh to malicious uh, websites <coughs> second uh malvertising uh it is an another uh, popular infection uh, method is uh, malvertising malvertising or malicious advertising is the use of uh, online advertising to distribute malware with little to no user interaction uh, required while browsing the f- uh, w- browsing the web even legitimate sites users can be directed to criminals uh, criminal uh, servers without uh, without ever clicking on an ad these servers catalog details about victims computer and their locations and then select the um, malware best suited to deliver often that trans, uh, malware is ransomware so uh, malvertising often uses an infected uh, infected iframe or invisible web page element to do uh, its work 
the iframe uh, redirect to an exploit landing page and malicious code uh, attacks the system from the landing page via exploit uh, kit all this all this happens without the user's uh, knowledge which is why uh, it's often referred to as a drive by download third is spear phishing that is common a uh, more targeted uh, means to means to a ransomware attack is through spear phishing an example of spear phishing would be uh, sending emails to employees of a certain company uh, claiming that the ceo is asking you to take an uh, important employee survey or the hr department uh, hr department is requiring you to download and uh, read a po uh, read a new policy the term whaling uh, is used to describe such methods targeted towards high level discussion makers in a in an organization such as ceo or other uh, executives third is social engineering uh, social engineering is basically uh, is an art of manipulating users of a computer uh, system into revealing confidential um, information that can be used to gain unauthorized access to a computer system so social engineering in that uh, there are um, like uh, threat actors may uh, use social engineering in order to trick people into opening attachment or clicking on links by appearing as legitimate whether that's uh, that's by seeming to be uh, from a trusted institution uh, uh, institute or a or a friend like uh, if i want to um, uh, i if i want uh, like ki doing a social uh, a social engineering attack to uh, prasad and i will uh, say him like uh, this is an uh, link uh, in this link uh, we got many courses or fit like uh, the interest of uh, prasad like i told them uh, told him that um, prasad like if prasad like uh, um, to earn money uh, freely or like that so i i will uh, convince him like uh, this is an uh, link from which uh, we get 1000 rupees freely and that so to convince the uh, person and uh, automatically after convincing he um, or she uh, puts uh, he or she click that uh, link and the uh, and boom that's Uh, social engineering attack so tricking the people into uh, opening attachment or clicking or links by appearing as legitimate whether uh, that's why seeming to be uh, from a trusted uh, institute uh, institution or a friend cyber criminals use social engineering in other types of ransomware attacks such as posing as a uh, as the fbi in order to scare users into uh, paying them a uh, sum of money to unlock their files another example of social engineering would be if a threat actor uh, gathers information from uh, your uh, public uh, social media profile about your interests places uh, you visit often uh, your jobs your um, your uh, favorite food etc and using some of that uh, some of that information to see uh, to send you as uh, you a message uh, that looks familiar to you or related to you hoping you click uh, you will click uh, before you realize it's not legitimate so <clears throat> this these are the types of attacks uh, or uh, le- um, in this uh, one more attack is there that is like not attack it's uh, the real ransomware encrypting files and demanding a ransomware uh, in that the <coughs> method the threat actor uh, uses when the once the uh, once they uh, gain access and the ransomware uh, software 
typically or uh, activated by the victim clicking uh, uh, clicking a link or opening a an attachment encrypts your files or data so you can uh, you can't access them you will see uh, you will then see a message demanding a ransomware payment to store what um, what they took often the attacker will uh, demand payment via cryptocurrency now uh, cryptocurrency is uh, very uh, very much boom in the industry so um, many of the attackers also uh, take the money or for take the ransom uh, payment uh from cryptocurrency via um, most of the time bitcoin so there are times times and types of ransomware the types of ransomware are uh, there are basically uh, three types of ransomware uh <laughs> three main types uh, scareware screen loggers and encrypting ransomware scareware uh, as it turns out it is, uh, is not uh, that scary <laughs> it uh, includes raw uh, <coughs> rough uh, security uh, software and uh, tech support scam <coughs> you might receive a pop up message claiming that malware was uh, discovered and the only way to get rid of it is to pay up if you do nothing you will uh, likely continue to be bombarded with pop ups uh, but your files are essentially uh, safe a legitimate uh, cyber security a legitimate cyber security software program would not uh, customer in uh, not a solicit customers in uh, this way if you don't already have this uh, company software on your Uh, on your computer then they uh, they would not be monitoring you uh, for ransomware uh, infection if you do have uh, if you do have security software you would not need to pay to have the infected remove uh, infection removed you have already paid for the software to do that that very uh, that job nicely so second is screen lockers upgrade to terror alert orange for these uh, guys when lock uh, lock screen ransomware gets on your computer it means you are frozen of uh, frozen out of your pc entirely upon starting up your computer a full size <coughs> full size window will appear often accompanied by an official looking fbi or us a us department of uh, justice seal saying illegal activities has been detected on your computer and you may, uh, you must pay a fine however the fbi would not freeze you uh, out of your computer or demand payment for illegal activity if they suspected you uh, of piracy child pornography or other cyber crimes they more, uh, they would go through the appropriate legal channels so this is screen locker uh, and third is script uh, encrypting ransomware this is the truly nasty uh, stuff these are the guys who snatch up your uh, files and encrypt them demanding payment in order to decrypt and redeliver the reason why this type of ransomware is so dangerous is because once cyber criminals get a hold of your files no security software or system uh, restore can uh, return them you to to you unless you uh, pay unless you pay the ransomware for the most uh, part the for the most part they are <coughs> they are gone and even if you do pay up there's no guarantee the uh, the cyber criminals will give you those files back so this is the most 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 dangerous uh, ransomware so next is uh, there is not type of ransomware there are the mac ransomware and uh, mobile ransomware so mac ransomware uh, one not once of uh, once to be left out of the ransomware game mac ransomware authors 
drop the first ransomware for uh, Mac uh, OS in 2016 called Re uh, Key Ranger. The ransomware infected an uh, app uh, called Transmission that tra uh, called Transmission that when launched uh, copied ransom uh, uh, copied malicious files that remained running quietly in the uh, background for uh, three days until they uh, denoted and encrypted uh, files thankfully apple <laughs> apple's built-in anti-malware program x protect uh, released an uh, update soon uh, after the ransomware have was discovered uh, that would block it from infecting user systems nevertheless uh, mac ransomware is no longer theoretical next is uh, mobile ransomware it was not until uh, it was not until the height of the uh, height of the infamous crypto uh, locker and other similar families uh, in 2014 uh, that ransomware was seen on an on a large scale on mobile devices mobile ransomware typically uh, displays a message that the uh, device has been logged due to some type of illegal activities uh, the message stated that the uh, that the phone will not, uh, will be unlocked after a after a free uh, after a fee is paid Ransomware, uh, mobile ransomware is often delivered via malicious apps and uh, requires that you um, boot the phone up in safe mode and delete the infected app in order to retrieve access to your uh, mobile device. So these are the ransomwares. Um, what to do if I am infected? So in this uh, we have to uh, take some measures uh, so how we protect my uh, ourselves from uh, ransomware these are like keep all the software on your computer up to date make sure automatic uh, updating is turned on the uh, turned on to get all the uh, latest microsoft uh, security updates and browsers browser related components like java uh, adobe and like this sorry uh, keep your firewall turned on don't open spam mails emails or uh, click uh, click links on suspicious uh, websites crypto locker spread via dot zip files sent as email um email attachment for uh, examples so be aware from this uh thank